What is good guys, welcome back to the channel. Now we'll be posting up the rest of that workout later on in the video, but obviously the main purpose of this video is to talk about my nutrition and the title, which is leveling up my nutrition. So I wanted to explain a little bit about how I've been operating for the last few years and kind of what my plan is moving forwards. So essentially for the last three years, I've eaten intuitively, which means I haven't tracked and I've essentially just eaten what I believe to be best for me achieving my goals by eyeballing it and just having a rough idea of what I should be consuming, which has worked for me pretty well. I've been able to consistently you know, stay, in, stay in the shape I wanna stay in within reason. And I've always been able to, you know, burn fat if I needed to, put on weight if I needed to, you know, I've been in control of my nutrition very comfortably for the last few years. For me, a few issues that arise from me eating intuitively is that, first of all, I've got quite a good metabolism, which means that I don't put on fat very easily. Uh, don't get me wrong, I can put on fat if I try, but I don't put on that much fat very easily, which is obviously great. I'm very lucky that that's the case. However, it doesn't work well with the fact that I've also got an incredibly sweet tooth I love snacks. My nutrition before I focused on my nutrition was terrible. Like naturally my, you know, my go-to is terrible. Whereas like Annie, for example, she eats really healthily regardless. Uh, whereas for me, it's like sweets, crisps, chocolates, just all the, all the stuff which isn't ideal for your physique. So with eating intuitively, I've kind of found myself slipping into bad habits. You know, I would eat more and more of those sugary, sweet snacks. Alongside, you know, getting my protein in and making sure that I'm hitting certain things for my physique goals, but there was more, there's been more and more creeping into my diet to the point where it's making me feel groggy, I don't feel my best, which is meaning I'm not training as hard. And all in all, it's just not, I've just not been as healthy as I could be. So, you know, for me, one of the massive things that has come from us going into the second lockdown is is making myself accountable for my actions. And ways that I've done that is I've set up this Level Up Your Lockdown group, which is a group of people motivating and inspiring each other to smash lockdown and not let the situation and situations in the world that are going on right now affect us in the way that they can do and to try and turn all of that energy into something positive. So I think for me now I've started to eat better and I've started to get into a better routine since doing that. I now want to double down on my nutrition as well. I thought it would be cool to show you how I go about setting up macros. But yeah, I thought it'd be cool to show you guys literally me setting up my macros. I haven't done it yet, so I'm gonna do it as we speak and explain what I'm doing as best I can. And hopefully that'll give you more insight into how you can set up your own macros if you don't know how to do that already. I think what's important to know is a few things. First of all, the macros that I create for myself today may not be the optimal macros for me. I'm gonna try and make them as close to optimal as possible, but you know, I might start hitting those macros and notice that they're not quite right. So there will be some adaptions made there. And that's, you know, that's what I say to my client. You're always gonna be adjusting your macros. You're always gonna be altering it, depending on what you're doing, changes you're making in life, situations that you're finding yourself in that you weren't in before, i.e. being in lockdown and not being in lockdown. So I'm going to calculate these as accurately as I can. Second of all, don't base your macros off what my macros are. Each person is different. So it's important that you base your macros off your own numbers, off your own statistics. Don't just try and copy what I calculate today. Use the way that I do it to do it for yourself so that hopefully you, know, you don't rely on other people or other services to calculate your macros and you can you know, confidently do it yourself when you need to. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's dive straight into it. So obviously having not tracked for a few years, I'm just gonna go into this, set up some basic macros, and then go from there. So first thing I'll do is find out my TDE. So I'll calculate my TDE right now. This is the one that I've always used. It's very basic. They all do very similar jobs, so I think this is a great place to start. TDEE calculator.net, I'll put the link in the description box. I'm also not affiliated with them at all, so I mean, I don't even know if they would do affiliation kind of based things. What were they getting out of that? No idea. But um. Anyway, I'm 26, wow. Weight in pounds, 182 pounds. Five foot 11. I, I wish I was six foot, but I'm just not quite. Okay, so activity. Obviously, this is how active you are at the moment. Now, I would say, obviously, heavy exercise, 67. I go three to five, I don't wanna overstate it. So let's say moderate exercise, three to five. I'll leave the body fat as is. Oh, they had a metric there. 
Okay, so let's calculate that. Let's see how that comes back. Now, obviously, also what I will do is I will adjust these because I know what my macros have been in the past. So if I went onto this now and it said 2,400 calories, I'd be like, no, that's not right. So that doesn't sound too far off, to be honest. Um, 2,800 calories per day, you know, with the activity that I'm doing at the moment. I'm pretty happy with that to begin with. I think that's not bad going, you know, we're in lockdown. Sounds about right with my weight. So right now, as you can see there, my maintenance calories are 2,833 calories per day. So that's how many calories it thinks I should need to eat to maintain my weight. Now let's have a look at what it would be if it was heavy exercise. So, okay, so pretty much what I would do now for myself is I will put that at 3,000 calories. So I'm gonna write that down. Perfect, right, okay. So my TDEE, is 3,000 calories. So protein equals four cows, good. Proetin, protein equals four cows per G. Carbs equals four cows per G. Fat equals nine grams per G. Okay, sweet. Right, so first of all, I'm gonna work out my protein and my fat. So a general rule of thumb when it comes to calculating calcul calculating your protein is one gram of protein for every pound of body weight you have. So I'm 182 pounds, so it would be 182 grams of protein. So let's go protein equals 182 grams. So in calories, that would be 182 times four, which would be, I'm not gonna work that out, 182 times four, 728 equals 728 calories. Okay. So fat and carbs are a little bit more interchangeable than some people might think. Now, some people go for a low carb, high fat. Some people go for a high carb, low fat. My fat is relatively high, but not too high. So I'm gonna go for 0.3 of my calories. So essentially what I need to work out is, so essentially 30% of my calories will be made up of fat. So I've got 3000 calories. What I'm gonna do is times that by 0.3 and that's gonna give me the calories, which essentially is 900. 900 divided by nine is 100. So, so essentially I have got 100 grams of fat, which equals 900. Okay, now for carbs, it's just the remainder. So three, oh, I got this one. Three thousand minus seven two eight minus nine hundred. Okay, now that's how many carbs I'm going to be eating. And now you just divide that number by four. Three hundred forty-three grams. Three seven two calories. And that, ladies and gents, is it. Let's see if I can make this any bigger because it's pretty small. Sweet. Probably should have done that at the start, but oh well. I'll try and zoom in for you guys. Those are the macros that I've got. So let's just make it a little bit clearer. Protein equals 182. Fat equals 100. And carbs equals 343. Okay, sweet. So now we have got my maintenance calories macros. But let's say I want to cut. I would then go 3,000 calories. Oh, wait, let's cut. So I would drop that down to, to begin with probably 2,700 calories and I would do the same thing. So protein will be the same. Fat, 2,700 times by 0.3 equals 810. 810 divided by nine equals 90. I should have known that off the top of my head. So 90 grams, 810 calories. Carbs equals. 2700 minus 728 minus 810 divided by 4, 291 grams. So those would be my cutting macros. Very simple. And uh, you do the same again for bulking. Let's just do it quickly. So three, I'll add 300, so 3300. Protein, fat, 110, 396 grams of carbs and there we have it so we have a bulk we have a cut and we have maintenance <laughs> maintenance acne so yeah there we go 
Fairly simple, nothing overly complicated. As I said, I'll put everything in the description box below. But yeah, hopefully that was insightful for you guys. As I said earlier, please do not look at my macros and think, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Use the process I just showed you to figure out for yourself. And yeah, that's a good place to start. Obviously, you know, you're gonna refine it over time. They might not be the optimal macros for you. Also give them enough time to make sure that it is right. Don't do it for a week and then think, oh, it's not working and stop doing it or change it. Do it for a few weeks, track your progress, and then, you know, go from there. If that's what I would do to get started. These are gonna be my macros. I am going to do my cutting macros for a little bit uh, as I wanna get a tiny bit leaner and then I will maintain. And that's what I'm gonna do. That's it. Simples, simples, simples. But yeah, I'm gonna jump back into the workout that I was teasing you guys with at the beginning of the video. It was a full barbell workout, absolutely brutal. I think my calories burnt during the whole workout was like 800, obviously it's on my Apple Watch, so I'm sure that's not accurate, but it was a good workout. I felt absolutely ruined and still do after it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm gonna sign off now. I hope everything I've showed you so far has been useful. If it has, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the video guys and I will catch you all next time. Peace.